Hi all, this is Madhumita from Informatica Global Customer Support. I am going to explain you how to perform the navigator route test for the remote logger setup. Let's dive deeper. This is the agenda of this video. I will explain the remote logger architecture, few configuration setup before performing a road test and there's a few steps in order to make the road test work and I'll take you to a live demo uh, and show you how to run the road test. Let's get started. So this is the remote logger architecture. Here you will have the power exchange and database server in one machine and in another machine you can have the power exchange services like logger and listener. So it is nothing bad. Uh, the logger is located in a different machine other than that of the listener. So that is the remote logger architecture here. Uh, so by brief I can tell you like the power exchange listener will be located in one server and power exchange logger will be located in another server. So that is the remote logger concept. So once the logger have created the contents files, using this contents files, the power center will get the data and push it into the target. So few configuration setup that needs to be taken care before performing the road test. Some are in the source machine DB mover, you should specify these necessary parameters like listener, oracle capture type D and CAPI connection statements where you should have the palm file location of PWX or RAT file pointing to the source machine and oracle ID and so on. And this is the logger machine changes. In logger machine, you should have the DB mover configuration as follows. Listener, note statement, log path. So the note statement here in the logger machine DB mover should point to the source machine listener uh, note statement. Uh, and the cap T path, cap extra accordingly you should specify and make sure you have the palm file location that is a PWX or RAT file location pointing to the source machine listener. Uh, yeah. So and also one important thing here is make sure when you are when you're performing the navigator road test all the listeners both in the source machine as well as in the logger machine it should be up and running and if suppose you are reading from the contents files the road test output then make sure your logger is also up and uh, running in the logger machine. So this is the screenshot. So in the source DB more note statement, uh, for example, I have kept this as Madhu Deepika. In the logger machine, I have added the same note statement pointing to that source machine IP address and port number. And uh, so yeah, this palm file location in the logger machine should point to the source machine listener. Now I'll take you to a live demo and show you how to perform the navigator road test. So yeah, so this is the road test uh, uh, screen. So here I should give the DB type as capex RT and location should be the note statement of the logger machine. And here in the advanced tab, you want to have the details of CAPI connection. Now I'm trying to read from contents files. So I'm giving the name of the CAPI connections, uh, which is the type capex. And now here it should be in my case, is the, this is the name of the source machine listener and the username password of the database. Yeah, so as soon as uh, you have filled all these details, just click go and uh, you will get the navigator road test for the contents file. So yeah, so as soon as if I click go, the this was my uh, row test output which read from the contents files and the data of the contents files are displayed here. So for more information or reference, you can refer the Informatica document. We would love to hear from you. You can drop us your queries in support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us in our Twitter account. Thank you.